Hi everyone, this is Travis J. Reed with Creative Visionary Inc. bringing you the final video tip before I see all of you hopefully at Vision Expo East this week. I just wanted to give you guys an idea on how to create some interesting displays and to do it easily for those that are beginners to visual merchandising. So what we do in retail is we buy a fixture called vitrines with a V, vitrines. If you go to a store like Macy's, those are the glass boxes that are on a wooden legs and they have a drawer that pulls out. You can pull the drawer out, set up your display, tack things down, glue them, whatever you need to do, push the drawer back in, and normally there's even a key to lock it. The nice thing about this is most vitrines are only going to be 12 by 12, 18 by 18, 24 by 24. So they're not a large amount of space. You don't have to spend a lot of money filling up the space with props and with a lot of merchandise. The first rule that I want you to remember is always double expose the merchandise. And what that means is keep it where you normally sell it. Whether that's on a fixture or on a wall, you need to get a second pair of the frames that you're gonna put on display because it's gonna be inside of a glass box. You want people to find it where they normally find it and also find it on display. You're not necessarily inspiring people to buy the merchandise that's on display, you're just inspiring the people in general. Come up with a color trend theme, a theme that ties into the time of year, a holiday, a season, something going on in pop culture, something that currently inspires you. It could even be a movie that's about to come out, um, an anniversary of something, whatever you think might be fun. Get a few props that you think are interesting, but make sure the props pull your eye to the merchandise and don't distract your eye from the merchandise. Use the same kind of risers to be consistent. Put enough merchandise in there that display is filled nicely without being overfilled. And then add the props that you think work great, and if anything doesn't look perfect, remove it. When you're done, you can always put vinyl decals on the glass which you can order from a company like mine or a local company like Signorama, and that vinyl can speak to what the theme is or what promotion you're selling is, etc. Or it can call out the brands that are on display. These are really fun little controlled amounts of space that you can do little displays and float them anywhere you want, up against a wall or in the middle of the floor, in your waiting area, in hallways, you name it. Once you start to get comfortable with creating these little displays like this, you can change them out more frequently. At the beginning, I would do quarterly, and then after that, you can do every week or every few weeks, and then pretty soon, you'll have an arsenal of really fun props and risers and things to work with that you can use annually when that time of year repeats again next year. I'm going to do some displays like this at Vision Expo East. They'll be set up in the education area. The first day that you can see them is Friday morning. I'll be there most of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So come by the education area, say hi, and I'll show you some examples and give you some advice on how to do these yourself. Also, I'm speaking on a visual merchandising panel on Saturday, so come by and take that course if you can. I'd love to see you there. See you all at Vision Expo East, and safe travels. Thanks.